Hi, I'm Colin from Performance Parts. We're here as a technical partner of FS3 Kawasaki, the official BSB Kawasaki team for the UK, and we're going to have a look behind the scenes. Let's go. Between you and Matt, your experience, is, you're, you're able to impart that so that the, you can perhaps see something they haven't experienced yet. Because a lot of your riders are quite young, yeah. they, they are by the very nature of it, sort of rookie riders, yeah. that's very, been, very, very much been a, a sort of a trait of the team is to bring young riders through. Um, do you find that you're able to help them and give them yeah, the benefit of your experience to help them sort of see their way through? Yeah, well Nigel's background is in education, further education anyway. So he enjoys the fact, you know, we run younger riders. I enjoy it from the point of view because you're going to achieve things, hopefully, mm. rather than just have a stagnant platform. No disrespect to, you know, and, and the other thing is, 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 you know, I mean, people say you, you run younger riders because they're cheaper. Well, they're not cheaper when they smash your motorbikes yeah, to bits yeah, left, right yeah. and centre. But if you pick the right young rider, yes, you get the benefit of the fact that you're bringing them through and you... That's the enjoyable bit, is bringing them Well, through. if we take, say, Lee, Lee, Lee Jackson yeah. at the moment, um, I mean, you brought him through from Superstock, and I think mm. he exceeded expectations last year on the Superbike, for sure. I, he certainly yeah. exceeded my expectations. Massively. You yeah. always had faith in him that he would be able to do that. But even as a young rider, Lee showed immense consistency, didn't he? Yeah, he, 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 he seemed to have quite an old head on his shoulders. Lee's from a good racing background. Mm. and Lee just needed the right environment and not criticising any environment he'd been in before but I think uh, probably his opportunities came a little bit too early before yeah, yeah. and probably uh, you know he then got um, sort of put into the second you know distinctly the second rider in the mm, team etc mm. etc et um, you know, he's had some good kit, he's had some good opportunities, but I think the one big thing about our team is all the guys in the team are handpicked by myself and mm. Nigel. It's, it's as much a bunch of sort of a band of brothers, I know that sounds yeah. a bit, but, and we're all there for one yeah. aim, is to do the job properly, and but to support the riders, and that's what Lee needed. Yeah. Yeah, if you take Lee, and you know he has he's proven his worth in the, and he's, he's kind of the team leader now. With yeah. Rory's come into the team. Uh, I mean, how do you, without putting too much pressure on on Lee, do you consider Lee a genuine title contender, or are you kind of going for the shootout, or or, or just? You know, seeing where you're at. Do, do you seriously want to go for the title? Do you see Lee as a you know proper, genuine title contender? I year? think Lee's as good as anybody out there. Yeah. Uh, Lee uh, thrives on confidence, and the more time Lee gets on the bike, the faster Lee goes. Mm. Um, and I genuinely think he's looking for that final two or three percent that will see him winning races. Um, obviously, we've got a brand new bike. That, that, that yeah. can be a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Um, which has its um, pluses and minuses at the start of the development mm -hmm. program. Um, and unfortunately, Lee missed um, some testing, A, because of the weather, but B, he was ill at Alton for that one day and only one day. Um, but we saw at Alton Park, he came out fighting, mm. and as the weekend progressed, he got quicker and quicker and quicker. I genuinely think if he can get in the shootout, he can fight for the yeah, championship. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. But it's quite nice to be under the radar because yeah. nobody thinks. Well, he's, can. he's not. A, he's not probably a bookies contender for the title. But no. I share your view. You know, he's impressed me, and I think the fact that he finishes races is, is, a, is a key attribute. You know, yeah. it's it's easy to be fast and crash. Um, well, easy is probably the wrong word, but there are plenty of riders that are fast and, yeah. and don't finish. But Lee's, you know. He's, he's putting together rather a good habit of, of consistently finishing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, one thing we've said to Lee is, there is no pressure yeah. from the team. There's no pressure. Don't, 
because a lot of people have said, oh, you're the number one rider. Mm -hmm. Both riders get exactly the same equipment. Mm -hmm. Both riders get exactly the same chances. Uh, all the crew chiefs work intrinsically together as one. So they share data? They share, share data. And the they... riders talk to one another? Yeah, there's no you know, barrier down the no, centre of the garage. No, so I won't so have it. Rory no. and Lee, are, it's all one team, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know? 100%. We've got one team. You know, even where you see that work really well is like if one side of the garage has a crash and the other side is done, the other side of the garage dies in the house. Yeah. The other side. Yeah. There's no, there's no us and them. There's no, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, you know, Matt and Ian work closely together. And like the other day, um, you know, they were both in here for two days, just going through the data and cross checking and, you know. So they share all that information mm. to make the team quick, not yeah, yeah, not like, individuals, not individual yeah. quick. So Rory's joined the team as you know, reigning British Super Sport champion. Um, it's a big step up. Do you obviously you wouldn't have signed him if you didn't think he had potential? Do you think you know he's going to be on a fast learning curve? He'll, he'll surprise people. He's clearly a very fast rider. Or are you looking for him to consolidate this year and say, you know, look, just learn the bike, learn the team, don't try and run before you can walk? We said to him right from the start, um, two year plan. Yeah. But you've got to commit to us for two years mm -hmm. to, to see it through. Um, because the first year's got to be a zero pressure. Yeah. You know, just learn, learn, learn. And that's where, you know, um, Matt, I think I'm blowing smoke up his backside because he's sat over there, but, <laughs> but that's where Matt is exceptionally good, you know, yeah. being an ex-racer, it's not all about the engineering, it's no. not all about, it's about rider feel, rider feedback, but also the crew chief is massively important to give that confidence to the yeah. rider, you know, you know if, they, if they're starting to flap a little and bit. And you've got to have the belief in it, yeah, but Matt, Matt's, yeah. Or being a, a huge asset to the team with his experience and his knowledge and and again you know he can perhaps be the calming voice when things maybe a little bit going awry maybe some things happen and calms everything down I've seen that happen in the garage so oh yeah massively I mean <clears throat> you know we've <laughs> we've definitely had some characters which <laughs> I, I say we get on with all our ex riders very well you know uh, Billy Billy had his own special character that needed a lot of calming down. Yeah. Um, uh, he was definitely the chimp from the chimp paradise. Right, right. Um, and, but mega lad, you know, but yeah. Matt had to control him. Then we had Danny that also had his moments. Mega lad also, yeah. you know, great. Uh, but also needed that, right, just, let's just, just pull this take, all back take together. A, take a yeah. break, yeah. Uh, Rory's quite uh, different to both of them, obviously. Uh, but comes across as fairly unflappable right. to the point where a bit like uh, <laughs> has he got a know, <laughs> a, he, he's just so so chilled mm. but you're starting to read him now and you know when he is getting himself a little bit worked up and then just there just chill out just go and enjoy and ride your motorbike mm. I mean like I'll always say to them you know you can come out with all the stupid things on the grid because uh, you're nervous for them and yeah. all of that, but I, one thing I'll always say to them is go and enjoy and ride your motorbike. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So, do the team, do the riders meet the team at the circuit? Yeah. Do they come here f frequently, or is it always that, that because obviously geographically they're, they're quite far apart? Um, do do they just does the team all meet at the circuit and that's it? And they spend the weekend together and then go home their separate ways? Yeah, they tend to. The, the the crew chiefs will talk to their riders individually anyway mm -hmm. and obviously compare notes themselves so and so forth uh, it's nice when they do come down mm -hmm. because they see the hard work that's going on in the background because I think nobody appreciates apart from the people uh, here um, how much hard work goes in how many yeah. stupid hours go in and you know how, how much time and effort that, forget the money it's just yeah. The hours and hours. And, and just, you know, finishing up, the, the two riders working in, together as a team, um, have you ever had a situation where two riders don't get on? I mean, do, do your, does Rory and Lee, do, are they, have they bonded? Do they 
have a professional relationship or a friendly relationship? I'd say they've got they've got a professional and friendly relationship. You know, they you know, it takes a little while to anybody new in the team, yeah. it takes a little while just to, you know, bring them in, make them understand um, the ethos of the team, how people operate in the team. You know, we're you know, I would say overly friendly team, but also there's a line mm, where mm, mm. things have to, you know, be done correctly and right. Um, but no, they get on. They get on really well. They're chatting to each other more and more and more. Right. That relationship's definitely blossoming. Um, you know, yeah. You know, there could be a time where you know on it's, track. It you gets can't always argy bargy. Yeah, 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 a bit and, paint swapping. Yeah, and that's the time that you know you have to say you have to sort it out or you know sit them down and but you know touch wood. We've never had to do that so far, mm. but no, they, they get on great. And and you know, like I say, all the data is shared, and the, the, there's a lot of cross, um, you know, sort of um, pollination of, yeah. of information. And it must be quite difficult to be a team manager in in that respect, in man management, because there's an old phrase, isn't there? You know, um, the first person you beat is your teammate. And, and that that's I don't know is that is that still true or do you yeah I think in yeah. the in the lads' heads it's got to be you yeah. know and you know Rory's definitely coming in you know very green to it all uh, but he's you know obviously a very talented lad mm. Lee's in my eyes proved himself you know hand over fist last year he's you know more than capable of winning races yeah um, and I'm sure he's going to. Um, and to be fair, I think if he got in, like I say, into the shootout, I think he's got every chance. Yeah. Of, because I think mm -hmm. the longer the season goes on, the stronger he gets. Um, Rory, I think, will probably progress quicker. A bit like Jacko last year, yeah. you know, quicker than people imagine. But I think a lot of that is to do with the infrastructure of the team. Mm. You know, not taking anything making away from it, them, Making but, it yeah. a, a good place to learn. Yeah, and you know, yeah. obviously we've, we've both the lads for their talent, but also the personalities, and mm. they've got to fit in. It's got, it's got to work, yeah. you know. And and I think you know, Rory's definitely, you know, um, got the ability. I mean, he's already, you know, very much surprised us how quick he's gone on the bike. Um, I wouldn't say surprised us, but impressed us mm. how quick mm. he's gone on the bike. Jacko never ceases to impress us anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, both got good temperaments. Both come from good backgrounds. Both got a work ethos, uh, and like the rest of the team, and, and and so that works because what you don't want is yeah you know yeah. a rider rock starring into the team and then rock starring out. No, you no, know, yeah, it, it does, no egos. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. all that does is you know demotivates everybody else because it's not all about them. It's a team. Mm -hmm. You know, this sport is 100% a team sport. Yeah. However, anybody looks at it as an individual rider. It's a team sport. No. Well, the, 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 those riders, um, I suppose they they aim to succeed and they seek the glory that comes with a championship win. But there's absolutely no doubt that that couldn't happen without all the huge amount of man hours and effort that's gone into running that team. Yeah, and I mean, like if you compare it to something like, I mean, people are often laugh when I say it's a, you know probably more of a team sport than say football. Mm, yeah. And people go, oh, that's be ridiculous. Well, I said, well done, minute. Mm. You can take that guy off, substitute him for another, and yeah. the team carries on. Yeah. I said, this team has to operate as one, yeah. you know, and you can't, it's not so easy just to drop somebody yeah. in and out. You Absolutely. To, you know, you take the cog out of the, the, the yeah, system. Well, and you take, drive. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, very much a team, team effort. And like I say, I'd love to see one day, I was saying to the guys earlier, I'd love to see a fly on the wall documentary because I, I genuinely think well we could do that yeah that can be our next thing we can camp here in your truck and we'll be when you turn up for work late every day <laughs> we can be there to, to fry your late again again <laughs> <laughs> but I, I genuinely yeah. think the fans would love to see yeah. how what goes on because it is like 85 percent of it yeah and uh yeah, there's some good banter in the background <laughs> as well, so, yeah. Brilliant. Listen, have a great season. Wishing you guys all the very best. Uh, we, you know, we, we support a lot of BSB teams. We're, we're heavily involved, but I think we've got a soft spot for you guys. And, you know, you deserve all the credit you get and all the wins that are coming your way. 
Yeah, well, fingers crossed and thanks for coming and visiting us and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the yeah. workshop. Yeah, good out, thank you. <laughs>